Hello Fox Thing viewers. The question for today is how do you fix any bug on an iPhone? And it really depends what the bug or the glitch is about, what happened to your iPhone, but there are a few approaches to this particular problem. So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. At first, the very easy way to do it is to simply turn the iPhone off. You can just hold down at the lower volume button as well as the side button like this and you're going to get the slider section where you can slide to power it off so you can turn your iphone off and then wait a bit and restart the iphone once again this is going to reset some minor bugs and glitches in the, the software but when the problem is bigger this may not be the only way to go about it or it may not be enough but yeah, it's very uh, easy to just do it. So go ahead and consider this to be the first step. Then what you can do is to find out if you have a particular problem with the entire iOS or with just a specific app, because it can happen that you, for example, use one app and you simply find it to be not working properly. If the app is buggy on your iPhone, you can always open up the App Store, look up the name of that very specific app, and that way you can find if there isn't any update available. Because when a new update comes out, you can see for this specific app there is an update available. Because when a new update comes out, it you can see that it fixes bugs, minor improvements and more. So yeah, it is possible that when you experience the bug on a Telegram, then after update, the bug is going to be removed and of course fixed. So yeah, if you have a problem with an app, all you have to do is to find out if there isn't any update available. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's it's gonna be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now but if you find out that you don't have an update ready and you have a problem with a different app let's say it's gonna be discord or something if I check it out I probably don't have any update available within this app you can see yeah I actually do have but let's say I don't have you can see that all you can do is just delete the app, remove it from the home screen, not only from home screen, but delete it altogether, and then reinstall it and bring it back from the app store. This is going to help because it's going to like give it a fresh start and uh, that way you can fix a bug even when no update is currently available. So yeah, that would be about the apps which are buggy. But if there is the iOS software which causes some issues and problems, let's say that something like scrolling through the settings is buggy or simply navigating the home screen, this has nothing to do with the specific app, but it's more uh, tightly connected to the iOS in general. In that case, open up the settings and find the general section. Within here, tap on a software update and chances are that Apple has already released a new update for your device. I'm currently running the latest version, but it is possible that there is a new one available for you and that way you can get the latest and greatest from Apple. Software updates also contain many bug fixes and things like that, so it definitely helps out if you check out if there is a new update available, and if there is, go ahead and install it, it's going to help you out. So these were all the things you could try out in case your iPhone is buggy. For more content, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out, until then.